Hello, KDISD. I'm Victor Perez, your KDISD board president. We're now more than halfway through the fall semester and thankfully, cooler weather is on its way. I take great pride in representing our schools. This month, I am showcasing the Gators of Maid Creek Elementary. A big thank you to Maid Creek Elementary for sending in this t-shirt and sharing their school spirit. It's a great day to be a Gator. I'm thrilled to highlight the achievements of our students and staff. But before diving into that, I want to take a moment to share some of our updates from the October board meetings. This month's regular board meeting opened with the Pledges of Allegiance led by Isabella Carrillo, a student at Campbell Elementary. After the pledges, choir members from Katy High School delivered a wonderful rendition of the national anthem. Thank you, Isabella and the Katy High School Choir for showcasing your schools and representing them with such honor and pride. At the October board meeting, our teaching and learning team updated trustees on the district's emergent bilingual student population. An emergent bilingual student and one whose native language is not English, but is in the process of learning it. Over 23% of KDISD students are emergent bilingual, while more than 100 languages are spoken by our families. Because the population of emergent bilingual students is growing faster than the number of ECL certified reading language arts teachers, the district has applied for an ESL certification waiver through TEA. Nevertheless, our emergent bilingual students continue to receive meaningful and effective instruction through alternative methods such as content-based language instruction alongside supplementary language supports where needed. As a fast growth district, our board and administration routinely reviews attendance boundaries to ensure every KDISD student is learning in a safe and secure environment. This past June, in preparation for the fall 2025 opening of elementary schools 47 and 48, the board and administration began evaluating proposed attendance boundary modifications aimed at easing enrollment pressures on elementary campuses in the Northwest Quadrant. Families affected by the proposed changes were invited to share their input through a survey available from June to early October. Following months of review and discussion, trustees approved the attendance boundary modifications for elementary schools 47 and 48. We sincerely appreciate our parents' insights and thoughtful feedback and are committed to supporting the families, student, teachers, and staff who will call these schools home next fall. Our board and administration are excited about the campuses and the exceptional learning and programs that will flourish there. Families impacted by the approved ABM will receive additional information within the coming weeks. Trustees also approved the KDISD 2025 legislative priorities. In recent months, our district conducted a parent and community education priorities survey and also met with parents, teachers, community members, and students through a series of listening circles, all aimed at gathering insights and feedback on legislative priorities for the upcoming 89th legislative session. The three areas that emerged from those discussions include, number one, increasing state funding for public schools. This issue is about increasing the basic allotment per pupil. The funding formula for public schools has not been adjusted for inflation since 2019. Number two, teacher recruitment and retention initiatives that focus on compensation and affordable health care. And finally, number three, star reform that limits standardized testing and shifts the online requirement for testing to begin at fifth grade rather than third. Our board will continue engaging our community around these issues as well as our local and state elected officials. Our goal is to influence existing legislation as well as future policy making that may impact KDISD students, schools, and families. Trustees approve multiple renovation projects across the district that are part of the 2023 bond authorization. These projects include comprehensive renovations at Bear Creek Elementary and updates to the building facades and rooftops at Taylor High School and Beckendorf Junior High. We also approved upgrades for life safety and special systems at campuses across the district. These upgrades include fire alarms, generators, PA systems, and HVAC equipment. 
these upgrades will enhance the safety and functionality of our schools. Our board also gave the green light on a chiller replacement and a central plant optimization for Cinco Ranch High School and the proposals for the building management system replacements at both Cinco Ranch High School and Cinco Ranch Junior High. As a reminder, all agenda items discussed and approved at meetings of the board can be found on the KDISD board webpage. I am extremely proud to share that 95 KDISD high school students have been named semifinalists in the prestigious National Merit Scholarship Program. These students were recognized this month at a reception honoring their accomplishment. As semifinalists, they will have the opportunity to compete for one of 6,000 merit scholarships worth $26 million this coming spring. Congratulations to these hardworking students and staff. Congratulations to science teacher Philip Gustafson of Morton Ranch High School, who has been honored with the Texas Educators Achieving Classroom Honors Award. This prestigious recognition awarded by the Texas chapter of the Association for Supervision and Curriculum Development celebrates teachers with less than five years of experience who demonstrate innovative teaching practices and inspire their students to excel. Great job. Finally, I'm excited to share some fantastic news from the 39th Annual KDISD Marching Invitational. For the first time, all KDISD high school bands advance from the preliminary competition to the finals. A huge congratulations to Jordan High School for winning the KDISD Champions Cup, awarded to the highest scoring KDISD band in the preliminaries. Thank you for spending your time with me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.